free, 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 free. Will a candidate win the White House by offering us the most free stuff? Collect up to $500 a month. Never before have so many promised to spend so much. We need to go tenfold. We took care of the military like it's never been taken care of before. We have got to pass a Medicare for all single payer system. <laughs> How can you even keep track of their proposed spending? $400 million in new science and technology. No one I know has even tried to track their promises. So we did. Here's the tally. We added up each candidate's proposed spending. We limit our count to the top five in the election bidding. We break it down issue by issue, starting with education. Triple the amount of money we spend for Title I schools. Joe Biden's off to a fast start. Universal pre-K. Free community college. Plus, he doubled the number of psychologists, counselors, and social workers in schools. $78 billion total. But that's much less than what Kamala Harris would spend giving the American family all that they need. Harris would also make community college free, but she'd add on four-year public college and increase government's investment in child care dramatically and give the average public school teacher a $13,000 raise. Her total more than doubles Biden's. Free college for low and middle income students. Mayor Buttigieg rarely says what his plans would cost but he at least proposes less than Harris. You ought to be able to refinance your student debt. He also wants the feds to give teachers more money. Assuming his plans like Harris's, that's a total of 87 billion. We can make it work for everyone. Elizabeth Warren would spend much more. You'll be debt free. Some students will be, that is, but you'll be deeper in debt if Warren gets her way. She would forgive most existing student debt make public colleges tuition free, and she wants a universal child care and early learning act. She's in first place so far. Eliminate student debt. But Bernie Sanders would spend even more. He'd forgive all student debt. We must make public colleges and universities tuition free. We're up to 220 billion per year. But Sanders also wants universal daycare and pre-kindergarten. So Sanders wins in education spending. As the only self-described socialist in the race, I assumed he'd win most categories, but I was wrong. He's got plenty of competition. Let's look at health care. You cannot let people who are sick, no matter where they come from, no matter what their status, go uncovered. Joe Biden would spend $49 billion to have the government provide a public option like Medicare. Buttigieg has the same plan. I would call it Medicare for all who want it. All the Democrats also want to give Medicare to people who came here illegally. We have got to pass a Medicare for all single payer system. Bernie's plan would cost even more. Under our plan, people go to any doctor they want, any hospital they want. Sanders says it would cost 30 to 40 trillion over the next 10 years. Three trillion per year. I'm with Bernie on Medicare for all. Medicare for all. So these three lead in health care spending, but Something isn't clear. Who here would abolish their private health insurance in favor of a government-run plan? Yeah. All right. The three biggest spenders also support banning private insurance, unless they don't. Harris co-sponsored Sanders' bill, which bans it. But then in The View, she said she would not ban private insurance. And private insurance also, because that's what I have. Supplemental private insurance. Yes. Then in the debates, she raised her hand to say she would. After the debate, she again said she would not. I support the Green New Deal. And how much will they spend on climate change? I support a Green New Deal. All the candidates, except Biden, say they support AOC's Green New Deal so they can pretend to be doing something about climate change. Republicans say a Green New Deal would cost $93 trillion. But we'll go with the lowest estimate we could find. An economist who likes the idea claims it'll cost $500 billion a year. New science and technology. Biden would spend less, but still a lot. I would immediately insist that we, in fact, build 500,000 recharging stations. 
Some candidates would spend almost as much increasing welfare benefits. For every family that is making less than $100,000 a year, they will receive a tax credit that they can collect up to $500 a month. In addition to a tax credit, Harris also would have the government pay your rent if it's more than 30% of your income. And she'd increase food stamps for kids. Warren would do that too. And make an historic investment in housing. Buttigieg wants affordable housing, but gave no specifics. I'll assume his plans like Warren's. Senator Sanders wants to increase food stamps, expand Social Security benefits, and guarantee everyone a government job. So far, Joe Biden has not proposed new welfare spending. So Senator Harris wins this round easily. Working families need support and need to be lifted up. I've been counting up the Democrats' plans, but the incumbent hasn't been very responsible either. A $21 billion increase in defense spending. Since Trump became president, spending rose about $500 billion. Trump did send Congress budgets that included cuts, but Congress sent increases back and Trump signed them. And Trump would spend even more. 200 billion for infrastructure, 8 billion for wall construction, and more NASA funding. How can we afford this? America's already $22 trillion in debt, $150,000 for every taxpayer. But at least Trump proposes less spending than the Democrats do. Finally, we added a grab bag category because three of our candidates have even more proposals. Harris wants to give $100 billion to redlined communities. Buttigieg wants $2 billion to expand national service. But Warren has the most plan. She'd require the government to buy American-made products. They have to be manufactured right here in the United States of America. She'd also expand the destructive Export-Import Bank, give debt relief to Puerto Rico, spend more on the opioid problem, and give $2 billion a year to apprenticeship programs. In total, we counted 50 spending proposals. We tried to include all of them and figure out the costs, but please, in the comment section below, tell us what we got wrong. Until then, President Trump has the lowest spending proposals. Biden's not that much worse. Buttigieg would double Biden's spending increases, and Elizabeth Warden would spend five times more. Sanders is even worse, but even the socialist was edged out by... Kamala Harris. I guess that means she's the winner of Free Stuff 2020. No matter who wins, since all the candidates want to spend more, you taxpayers are the losers.